Hey everybody, Matt Burke here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Cobalt Death Stalks Us. It's the follow-up to uh, Cobalt Atlantis Thrashing. And uh, I was going to say that um, I backed um, both books. Um, and uh, yeah, um, if you want to check out my review of the first one, again, I've got this book uh, like over a year ago among many other books I've got. And I've been trying to get around to do these reviews. Um, in the last uh, review, I didn't show all the st cool stuff that came with it. Um, it came with this... Uh, cool um 6 a.m if you guys don't know 6 a.m comics he's on uh you can find him on twitter he's done hundreds of characters um including my uh, butch cleaver twice and um check this out man it's a cool magnet right there you got cobalt you got the uh the the villain right here you learn you learn his name in the back of the book of the story it's uh death stalker and uh this right here is another character it's got a uh, she got a, stor a short story in the back too her name's brick house really cool really cool Really cool character, really fun, ass kicker. And then you got these cool little chibi stickers right here. And it also came with this cool print, you know? Pretty awesome. I like the, the gargoyle with the crown. Very like, very um, Atlanta, you know, New Orleans, very French feel to it, you know? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty badass. So, good stuff, man, good stuff. Really, really digging all this. Love it, that's the one thing I love about um, crowdfunding, man. You you back the book and then um, you get all the, you get all the tchotchkes with it. And so here's the, uh, the main book right here and um excellent print quality um uh, it picks up right where the last one left off too and um yeah man this is a it's a killer it's uh again written and created by jake adams and um the art is um uh, erwin j arosa and i believe that's the uh the same same artist from the last one again uh what i liked about this book in the the, the first review was that it was a street level vigilante with a, a little update from the future, a little, little bit of um, noir and um, cyberpunk, but told, you know, street level. So uh, in the last issue, I haven't seen it. Um, there's a cop and she's in, in, uh, doing an investigation on uh, one of the people that she might think is Cobalt. <laughs> and uh, little does she know he's actually in the house watching as a intruder comes up behind her and um, they're about to get in on it. So you got... The Jensen home, Monday night, 10 o'clock. You just threatened an, an, an officer, asshole. Drop the knives and put your hands behind your head. How do I play this? They haven't noticed me. So he's looking at him right there. Cobalt's looking. That's the main character. He's watching him in, in a reflection of a, of a mirror. And he's got this like bionic um, hand. It's pretty awesome. I could leave. Hands behind your head. And it has it under control. I could still go out the back and this fool pulls out a... Pulls out some shanks. He's going full speed at her. He's throwing awesome panel right here. Uh, again, back to the art real quick. Um, yeah, it reminds me of uh, uh, Sikevich and also um, Bradstreet. And it's just really got a, a style into itself. Uh, the, the colors in here really brings out the uh, the vibe too, you know. I think it really helps uh, with this universe establishment. I read that wrong. Throwing the mirror at the knife changed the tra trajectory just enough. Shk, ah. Come out. Your presence is no longer hidden. Pulls out these little red orbs. What is that? Shk. Then you got the main character right there, Cobalt. Well, he's not wrong. But I know the layout of my house. And I will say, man, I, I love the I love the writing in here. He's got really, really uh Cool one, cool one-liners, you know, that kind of helps uh, jazz up the story a lot, and also, um, I really like the um, internal monologue as well, man. Very, very uh, detective, you know, noir. Um, he had the same idea as me. Obscure the line of vision. Jensen, that you? In the blink of an eye, he used her lack of focus to take action. <laughs> so he jumps out of the way, the light from the, you know, hallway or the outside. Street light. Oof. She knocks her, he knocks her down. So what are these things? What are these red orbs? You know. This guy's a pro. Wish I was geared up. But it's all packed in my bag. I can't get to it in time. Zit, zit, zit. They turn into these scorpions. I thought this was really fucking cool, man. Thought that was a cool little cool little thing to have, you know, cool little gag. Wasn't expecting that. A rat kitchen utensil it is. It's two on one, hombre. Just leave and no one gets hurt. The guy's just looking at him, you know. Throws a, he grabs the, um, you know, he's got the uh, the little pan right there in his hand. 
swings at him. You got the really cool action sequences. I love the connecting in here. I love the fight choreography in here. Uh, again, it's very uh, realistic and immersive. Gives him a little headbutt. You know, punches him in the face. She's got her. She got her piece. Stand down right now, or you're gonna get dropped. Last warning. Are those scorpions? <laughs> What the hell are these? What the hell are these things? Whoosh, she's stepping all over him. This one's slicing into her. Uh, looks like Achilles tendon, possibly. Ah. God, he punches her in the. He's punching her in the stomach, and you got to look up here real quick. He's grabbing the gun. Okay. Most like I didn't catch that when I first read through it. I didn't. I didn't notice that. It's pretty cool. And I like how he's breaking through the panel, the artist, to help your eye uh, single that out to know that that um, point of action is taking place. Then he goes from here. And it comes back down through here. So there's this invisible um, run of motion going through there, through the trajectory of the sequential art. Fucking awesome. So he's elbowing her in the back of the head, about to put one in her in her skull. Double tap. That's per perfect. Focus on Anna for a moment. And then <laughs> cracks him in the face. And then uh, he's saying something in another language. He's thinking to himself. What do you say? Cover the vicinity. So he's talking to the scorpions or, you know, again, this is just in the future, just a little bit, you know, I, I kind of think like, you know, just not, not, not too off, too far off from now, maybe like 10 years ahead. I like that too, man. You know, when I was thinking the future, I was thinking back to the future too, you know, and it's probably never going to be like that. We're never going to have cars flying around in the sky. It's just, <laughs> it's too dangerous, but we will have tunnels. You know, you hear Elon talking about they're tunneling things out, you know, but damn it. I want to fly. <laughs> I want to have my, my, my car in the sky. Holy shit. Ding. He's using the pan. I love this. I love this scene right here. He's getting right there. Ting. Why are you shooting so slowly? The bastard's torn with me. Ding, ding. With us. He's going at him. He's grabbing his arm. He's not taking this seriously. He's enjoying this. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, oh, shit. <laughs> These things are going up. I love this shot right here too, showing that, just showing the connection, showing the impact of what's going on, and they're doing it realistically. It's really awesome. You know, some comics, you know, they do a lot of like show don't tell or like the little, you know, they do the before and then after. I, again, I, I, in my reviews, I always preach about how I love it when people are showing the connects, and that's that's one thing I really like about this book. You're getting all the connections. And um, the writer, man, he 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 did a great job. He brought the the reader in. Grab him right by the fucking throat. Put you right into the story, right into the action. And he kept it consistent with the first issue. There's a sound I can't quite place. A beep of some sort. Zing. Ah, the scorpions are all on the walls. Beep. Probably like a humming sound, dude. That's like that, mm, you know, those vibrations that you tap into. <laughs> They're beeping all in a sequence. Yeah, definitely. So they're making some type of frequency. And the scorpions, the bombs. So maybe they're like vibrating to a certain degree to where they just all explode at the same time. Beep. He's kicking her right there in the side. And she's just getting her ass beat. She comes at him with the hammer. He takes the fucking hammer. Love it. Love the love the love the art and the art and the, the fight choreography. I'm so I'm so worn out, I can't think straight. Yeah, if you've seen like the last issue, you'd, you'd see why he's worn out. You guys got to go pick that up. I try to fixate on what he says, how he says it, but there's, there's so much going on. Find peace in death. That's what he's saying. We've got to be quick. The trigger is, is, is the guy's proximity. Anna, get your ass up. Grab the backpack. Don't forget the gear. Yeah, definitely gonna need the gear. Zip, zip, zip. <laughs> Big ass explosion. It's fucked up, man. He blew up his house. I haven't prayed in a long time, but in this moment, the intensity of the heat on my back, feeling the debris scraping across my clothes, through my hair. Damn. So you can really feel it. You know, you can feel what this guy's going through in that moment. No. Our home. He's looking at the picture, you know. Mom. See, and he's he's taking care of his little brother too, man. There's 
I'm sorry, you know, and he's stashed away right now. But I don't want to spoil too much more of the story. I just wanted to show you guys how how it kicks up. Freaking awesome. Um, the, the story uh, keeps going in, in new places. You keep learning new things about the, the villain, and, and uh, they don't give too much away. But um, <laughs> there's some funny dialogue in here. And again, I'm loving the internal monologue. And uh, yeah, you guys should definitely come check it out. I give it two horns way up. And um, yeah, man, again, these guys are killing it. And um, I wanted to show you, he's got a couple of a uh, couple of funny uh, scenes. Um, couple of uh, let's show you. Let me show you this right here. This is his new book coming out right here. Yeah. This one's going to be called Brother Kit Volume or Brother Kit Vol. Yeah. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, this one looks pretty awesome though, man. I like the art. It's just popping. Kind of reminds me of like Saturday morning cartoon a little bit. So get ready for this. This one's going to be coming pretty soon. Probably going to be crowdfunding, you know, probably like fund my comic or something like that. And um, this is a, uh, this is going to be continued, uh, so you're going to be picking up the next issue of uh, uh, Cobalt in the in the near future. Should be available, but in the back you get this awesome story right here. Uh, it's called Brick House. This this chick's she she she's a baddie, um, and you got an awesome cover right here by uh, Simon uh, Poitier. Colors by um, Ali um, from Six Five Six, Ali Ersing, and uh, yeah, man, Ali Six Five Six. And this uh, character right here, you know, she's a she's a badass. You don't really know exactly what what she is. She's starting off in a uh, in a strip club. She has to go to the back to take care of some special clients, and uh, they're in for a big surprise. And again, I don't want to I don't want to spoil too much, guys. You know, because if I do that, you know, it's gonna ruin it. So you guys gotta you guys gotta back this book when when it's available. There might be some out there like on um, on eBay possibly. But um, yeah, you're gonna have to wait till the next campaign launches. He might have some of these available, maybe on um, maybe on the uh, the next campaign by uh, our boy um, our boy Jake Adams. So definitely pick this up when it's available. Check out the the, the new books he's got coming out. And uh, yeah, guys, two horns way up. Always remember to be bold, be brave, and roll the bones to know your roll. I'll see you guys next time. Stay fucking metal.